Okay, um... Spending time in the palace only makes it harder for me to avoid go ongoing disputes and schemes. I feel like a trapped prey with, with nowhere to go. At dawn, Gabrielle hurried, hurried wakes me. She's very worried. Something has happened. Your Majesty, the king wishes to see you. So suddenly, is some, something wrong? Something to do with a necklace. I remember Balmer's necklace. Why would that come up? Beautiful things attract disaster. I feel a s sense of foreboding. Gabrielle's face goes pale. She just remembered the same thing. Do you think it's that necklace? I'm worried, Marie. I refused to buy the ne that necklace, so there shouldn't be a problem. Don't worry. It's only been a few days. How did king, the king hear of this? There's no point speculating. I'll hurry to the king's side. I shouldn't make him wait. I should change into something presentable first. Okay. Uh, just going to use the recommended outfit. You look so ele elegant and formal in this outfit. It's perfect. No matter what the issue may be, I'm sure His Majesty's mood will improve upon seeing you. Thank you for worrying about me, Gabrielle. Let's go. The King, Madame Adelaide, and Lafayette are in the study, looking grave. The atmosphere is so, inten so tense I can hardly breathe. Gabrielle is ta terrified. I squeeze her hand to comfort her, then step forward and curtsy to the king. Greetings, your majesty. May I know why you sent, you've sent me? I hear you've purchased an extremely expensive item. The king sounds hesitant and thoughtful. He seems unsure of what to say there is a sudden cold chuckle why are you so hesitant your majesty i reminded the queen that my father commissioned the necklace for madame du Barry, and now you've decided to purchase it for yourself one million six hundred thousand lives that's equivalent to years of palace expenses. You've cer you certainly have no problem pampering yourself, your majesty. I didn't buy that necklace. This must be a misunderstanding. Oh, then why did Bomer say you did? Would a common commoner dare to frame the queen? And what about the gossip? How do you explain that? Gossip? What gossip? The king tries to speak, but only sighs. After some thought, Lafayette breaks the silence. Your Majesty, the people say you disregarded the state of the royal treasury and amassed huge debts to buy it. The news has spread quite rapidly. If you've truly put the palace in debt, your reputation will, as well as the royal reputation, will not recover quickly. We want to hear the truth from you before we decide how to handle this matter. My words and deeds have always been the subject of gossip, but even a visit from a merchant can result in vile talk. I swear by my dearest mother that I did not purchase that necklace. Your Majesty, please believe me. Everyone is staring at me. 
Gabrielle's worry, the king's doubt, Lafayette's thoughtfulness, Adelaide's scorn. I see them all. The room is deathly quiet. As I'm about to despair and give up on defending myself, Lafayette speaks up. I believe the queen. His voice lights up my lonely heart. His trusting gaze is strangely reassuring. Whatever else she may have done, she has always admitted her indiscretions. Marquis de Lafayette, you've always disproved of her. Why are you defending her now? Oh, that's right. You danced with the queen last night at the banquet. Where... Were you seduced by her charms after just one dance? Yes, that must be it. Madame, take care with your words. We are in the presence of the king. Adelaide gives a little humph <laughs> and frowns at the king, who remains silent. She assumes the king won't rebuke her, so she continues haughtily. How could you possibly compare what she's done in the past to this. She is quite simply lying because of how severe the situation is compared to her past indiscretions. Trust is built upon honesty, madam, and the queen has always been honest. I used to believe the rumors. It gave me a wrong impression of the queen, but after taking, talking to her yesterday, I realized how wrong I've been. I'm sure she knows lying about this matter would do her no good right now. Lafayette's gaze is full of sincerity. Just like he said last night, his doubts about me are gone. I must defend myself, make amends, and find a way to gain my people's trust. Note, this decision will dramatically change the story. Maintain innocent and offer a donation, only maintain innocence. Let's offer a donation. I'm ashamed of the things I've done before, and I don't want to make any more mistakes. The necklace is indeed gorgeous, but I know its price is equivalent to years of palace expenses. I was tempted, I admit, but I'm aware of my duty to the kingdom as queen. I would never make such a frivolous purchase. If you still refuse to believe me, there is nothing more I can say. Humph. Your majesty cannot... Enough! The queen has spoken, and I have no reason to doubt her. I shouldn't have accused you without proof. This must be distressing for you, Marie. Thank you for trusting me, your majesty. I am glad you are thinking of the royal family's welfare and that you are becoming more queenly. As for the people's mistaken view on this matter, I will find a way to stop the rumors and clear your name. Thank you, your majesty. I'm glad you believe me. Perhaps the merchant tried to trick us and spend the and spread the rumors to tarnish the queen's reputation. He must be punished, your majesty. I will find the truth, Lafayette. Please handle the investigation. It is better to keep this within the palace. Yes, your majesty, I will do my best. However, I cannot guarantee the people will believe these are just rumors with no basis in fact. The queen is always buying jewelry, so it's no surprise this happened. Adelaide's attacking me again. I want to reply, but the king clears his throat. <clears> throat. Aunt, please give me some privacy so we may solve this issue at hand. If that is your wish, your majesty, Adelaide curtsies and then turns to give me a smirk. And sends it that sends a chill down my spine. Did she have something to do with this? But she's right. The real Marie did all those things. Now I am queen. 
and a queen has a duty to her people. What can I do to win the people's trust? I must prove that I am a good queen. While I'm deep in thought, the sparkle of the king's crest catches my eye. Oh, I know. Your majesty, I will donate... I'm willing to donate my jewelry to replenish our military funds or to help the poor. Whatever might help solve the problem. Everyone stares at me in disbelief. Yes, that may appease our subjects, Lafayette. What do you think? Our ultimate goal is to change the people's impression of the royal household. I approve and have nothing but the deepest respect for the queen's determination and her change in attitude. The royal household and the people of France will appreciate the queen's gesture. Your Majesty, it is only right for me to make amends for my past mistakes. I only hope it's not too late. You can use the money to help the people or purchase a ship for the Navy. I think both options are equally good. Marie, which do you choose? Well, I'm against war, so I'm going to help the people. The people are unhappy with the royal family, so let's appease them. There are plenty who are cold and hungry because they cannot afford bread and firewood. I shall use the jewelry to help the poor and solve the problem at its root, but it, it won't be solved care for them a great deal. I am very proud of you, my queen. I will dispute the funds, distribute the funds in your name. This will surely change the people's opinion of you. My reputation isn't what's important. The people's support for the royal family is. I return to my room, but I'm feeling restless from the morning's upheaval. I keep thinking about a painting I saw in a book of Marie Antoinette being taken to her execution. I feel things won't be resolved so easily. Perhaps I should confront Balmer and find out why he said I purchased the necklace. It's probably just a misunderstanding. It can't be that serious, right? Maybe I'm overthinking this, though I'm sure Lafayette would agree I should consider everything. Gabrielle, let's go right away. Secret Pact Okay, um... I'm going to do the next chapter in the next little episode. Bye.